What's going on? This is Shane, Savage AF. Brought to you by the world famous Lab Factory, powered by Dash Radio, waiting for Pedro to jump on with us. We about to talk about some shit that's going on in the world. The people, oh, Miss Adverb, you was on time. Oh shit, that is amazing. That is amazing. Yo, the people that's jumping on, jump on. Waiting for Pedro to jump in. Everybody, you know what? It's been a crazy ass time. It's a crazy ass situation, but we gonna try to make some damn sense of it. And that's what we gonna do. And the people that have been supporting us, thank you so much for supporting us. And you know, jumping on and fucking with us with pertaining to these, you know, a lot of, uh, they ain't got a lot of brothers that talk about the politics like we do but that's why we're trying to turn this shit into a show yo what's going on c-m-o-l-e-89 what's going on stuns all day um again wait there he is there he is there's black pedro waiting for him to jump on and let me see there he is bam i'm going to click it i sent you a request pedro so now you can jump on if you want to do it if you want to there he is. Savage has brought to you to bro why, by the world famous Slab Factory. I'm going to pin the stuff up while Pedro gets on here. We're going to talk about the different things that's going on. We're going to make sure that y'all know that we know that you know that I know that you know that you know what the fuck I know that you know. We're going to make sure that everybody knows what we know that you know. You know how many knows that was just now? Fuck with your boy. There he is. <laughs> there he is. So we're going to talk about things. And uh, hey, 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 hey. Uh, I don't know where he's going, but uh, he, I guess he's coming soon. Um, we're gonna talk. We, we're gonna. He's gonna give you the daily run up, and not the rundown, the run up. And while he gives you uh, the information about checking us out and definitely subscribing to our YouTube channel, our YouTube channel has been growing. We just launched it, and we need you to make sure that we get more followers, and hey, subscribers, hey. subscribers. Subscribers. Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, so I'm going to pin this in here now while Pedro tells you where you, where you can find us pertaining to, where you can find us pertaining to the uh, podcast if version not, of the show and and, uh, and the, uh, what you call it, show, part of the yeah. show. So let me just put so, that in here. Um, stuns, I, I do like to make an entrance, but today, really, I, I was looking for my headphones and uh, they were at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Savage AF, guys. Um, if you're not catching us live here on IG, uh, Monday through Friday, Mondays and Fridays, we're on 3 p.m., Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. Those are all Pacific Standard Times. Uh, then you can catch us wherever you get your podcast, Savage AF, okay? Uh, iTunes, Google Play, Slacker, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, Spotify. Uh, okay. Other than that, if you want to see us again, but you missed it live, Kane Garlene, what's up? Welcome. Uh, I think I saw Breezy JJ's BD68. Uh, yep, there she is. Um, so uh, if you want to see it again, though, you can. You, that's, what, that's what the whole YouTube thing is for, uh, is that we're going to have uh, these episodes there for you to catch up and for you to share with your friends so you can be like, look what they said. This is why you need to follow. Stop playing around. Miss Unique Love. I see you. Nikki FSU. What's up? Um, so Can't. on YouTube, Savage AF Podcast is what you need to look up, follow. AJ Fit 365. Tell them about it. Uh, but spread the word. Spread the word, y'all. So we are there. Um, that's what it is. Always follow at Comedian Shang, the man upstairs. And myself. There you go. And uh, uh, also Pedro. follow at Black Pedro. Make That's sure you do is. what you got to do. And, and Savage, also, AF, we need... Savage AF Radio is is the handle right. on on IG. So so do that for the show, uh, and, and and spread that oh. love, y'all. We appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, but let me let them know something. I just looked at the Savage AF uh, YouTube's uh, sub, um, channel. We need you, and I am not playing. Do not make me come over there, kids. Um, make sure that you. Uh, we need. 16 more subscribers right now. Okay. We need 16 more subscribers 16 on our million. YouTube to get to 100. 16 okay, million so, more, yeah, that's all we need. And then after that, 16 million more. But right now, right now, that's what we need. So <laughs> Savage AF Podcast. First of all, Miss Adverb, thank you for being on time and early even. But uh, she said we just some black men with good hair is all. That's not all, yeah. okay? 
Yes, we we do have good hair. <laughs> I'm we not going to that. I'm just going. Um, but it's, but it's a song by D'Angelo and I'm more than my conditioner. Raphael Sadiq. I'm more than yeah. my mint, my mint uh, leaf conditioner. Uh, it, it's uh, it's way deeper than that, y'all. So. <laughs> Don't, don't, hey, don't ever. Oh, shut up, man. Shut up. That ain't nothing but fruit and berries. The juices and berries, man. <laughs> juices and berries in your hair. All right. So, so we are savage. We're going to talk about it. We got the run up coming up on we you. We do have a show. Um, yeah. Let me see here. Got it here. Boom. Yeah. So uh, here we go, y'all. Uh, today we're going to run up on you with. Uh, we're going to end the show just asking, you good? I'm going to do a mental health check for everybody out there, man. Um, Damn, I don't know about that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm. But before we get into that, we're going to talk about Black Lives Matter. We're going to talk about that. If, you, if that's confusing you, oh, that mother. it should, and we can get into it. There's a bunch of, and it, there's not a bunch. I've seen about four dudes just like that, but we're going to get into it. That yeah. shit made me go, yeah. damn, 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 James. Damn, 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 James. Uh, but right. before we get into that, we're going to get into for real, for real. Like, John Bolton said that Trump's Proud Boy command was some real shit. We're right. talk about that. Uh, but before we talk about that, we're going to talk about everything smaller in Texas, uh, where the governor is now reducing your ballot, your mail-in ballot uh, drop boxes uh, to one per county in all of Texas. We're going to talk about that. Um, but before we talk about I that, we're going to talk why. about... Hmm. Yeah. We're going to talk about the, the, the DOI, which is the Department of Injustice, led by William Below the Bar. And right. uh, he is now being called out by 1,600 former, former federal prosecutors who would have worked under him uh, <laughs> if they had to. Um, but before we get into that, I'd like to start off today's show. Uh, this is October 1st. Guys, somehow in 2020, we should all feel blessed that we have made it to October. Somehow, some way. <laughs> Keep making well, funky sorry, ass you know what? Like every single day. Um, I mean, it's, 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 it's been rough. It's, it's been, been rough. very rough. It for is a lot October. Of people, but we're here. It is yeah. October 1st. We're here. And I'd like to start off by talking about The Notorious, which usually... Uh, for us hip hop fans, means uh, notorious B.I.G. It, got, it would be Biggie. Oh, it oh, got it got co-opted oh. to, to notorious R.B.G. That's that's fine. She, yep. she she was a beast as well, so it's all good. Um, but it did dawn on me that the moderator of the uh, debate the other night shares the same name with the notorious B.I.G. Chris Wallace. Well, yeah, Chris, Chris, Chris Wallace. Christopher Wallace. Uh, uh, and now I think and, he, will, he will be notorious for... Uh, oh, he's actually, fired. Yeah. Well, no, actually calling out the Trump Trump today and saying that the, the problem with it, with the whole debate, was Donald Trump. Like, the moderator right. and he's that. fired. The, he, he, he's fired. They're going to fire him. He's going to fire him, him and he's going to have to get security. Because he's, he's going to be people like, well, man, what you made you trying to say Trump was at fault? Oh, I swear to God, when, when we see you, Chris Wallace, we're going to get you. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I'm telling you, he's yeah. fired. You can't say shit bad about Trump and you work for Fox. Come on, man. Uh, RVA Gourmet said he's Mike Wallace's son. He won't be fired. There is that, there is that legacy, that history. Um, but, you know, I think, I think he's playing the role. He's, he's definitely playing the non-Fox role right now. He's, he's playing the journalist role. <laughs> like, he's back to that, where it's like, no, I'm just going to stick with some facts here. Um, yeah, he's been riding his dad coattail for years, R.B.A. Gourmet, we, for sure. Um, but like, that's what I'm saying now. Like, now he's switching to to actual journalist as opposed to Fox talking head. Um, that motherfucker's going to be working for CNN in about a half hour. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, that, go, yeah. Somebody Fox is going to be like, what did you think was going to happen, huh? You you traitor. 
What do you mean saying Trump's at fault? How dare you? You see how the fucking Republicans are doing pretzel flip-flop twist to say that what he didn't mean and what he meant and what he didn't mean. And he, he was a little bit aggressive and this and that. And Chris Waller was like, no, motherfucker, it wasn't Biden. It was you. It was you. I love the fact he did that. But I'm telling you, man, his life's in jeopardy. Yeah. Um, and, and, and while we recognize, and Ms. Abram said, uh, the nepotism is white privilege at the core. So for sure, you know, we, we, we understand why Chris Wallace is there in that role, you know, just even in his existence. But um, like I said the other night, I did, I thought he was the dude who won that night. Like I thought he moderated that. He tried, he tried his best to check Trump. And What's up, yo? He, he did not like kind of succumb. Yeah, you know, but you know what? Was no, there, there was a couple of, It was a lot of mis No, I disagree. But 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 I mean, what what, what you know, there was no cutting of my psychiatrist today that. said he placated him. He basically he 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 soft peddled him, Mr. President, Mr. Please, Mr. President, please, Mr. President, stop well, interrupting. Please, Mr. President. If you you know what, you'll like this next segment. Please just be cool and we'll get to the next segment. He was placating him, he was absolutely it was a there was a level of like just like, you know, let the little that. child go stab the other kids with the scissors. No. That's what it was. He was a he I was mean, a kindergarten listen, teacher letting kids get stabbed with scissors. The, the, he's the he's the he you know unfortunately Donald Trumpy Dumpty is the president of the United States. So a lot of a lot all the media refers to him as Mr. President, like that. You know, Eve that, in that, the building. Eve's underscore Apple seven nine one six Queen of the show. Um, a lot a lot of you know media re refers to him as Mr. President. Technically, that that is what he is. So, um, and and you know he he was a beast with it, Donald Trump. He dumped. It. I mean, that's what he did. So he was he was plowing over the moderator. He was plowing over uh, Joe Biden. That that was his strategy. That was his goal. And right, uh, honestly, as well as one can be done while staying a professional in that role of moderator and not totally jumping. But there was a moment definitely where Chris Wallace was like, no, it's you. Like he said that live. Like he was like, right, he, did say, was like he did say, he did say, he said, no, to, actually you need to check you. Joe yeah. Biden too for interrupting. He's like, you're doing it more. Like, so, I mean, I thought those were like, you've never seen those moments in the debate like that. Right. So, I mean, listen, we're all talking about this as this unprecedented thing that we've never seen before. So understand that that was all unprecedented for a moderator too. Like, Nobody's really like, no he just coming. like that. Right. You know what I mean? So I think he, everybody was off guard. Like that was what, you know, I, I got a homie that's like this. That's like, that, I call these niggas Clubber Lang. You know, it's like from uh, Rocky Three, Mr. T's character. <laughs> they just come out the gate and they're like, you ain't pretty, I'm pretty. I hate you. You ain't no champ. I'm a champ. I'm going to punch you in the face. You ain't but, gonna I gonna you. You but I want to talk about the policy. I'm going to punch you twice. But I want to talk about the policy. I'm going to punch you 70 times. But I want to talk about the policy. But I guess, what about the government? And he, he's what just about gonna keep talking over you. Yeah. And just, and you got to let him wear himself out sometimes. But, you know, I think that but, they both did their best to kind of no, mitigate Biden that. Biden did his best. But, but I'm Chris, frustrated. Chris, I mean, but why didn't they call us? Why didn't they call us to moderate the shit? It would have been cool if Savage AF came and moderated and then. You know, we asked them a question, uh, Trump, get out of line. And we just like, hey, man, shut the fuck up. Shut up, Trump. Right. You hear here him talking. On, shut the fuck here, up if I come up on the stage. Here on Savage AF, there's nothing really moderate about our presentation. So I'm sure, I'm sure they're on to a shame. <laughs> I know, but I mean, it would have been cool if we were the moderators. Mr. Uh, Mr. President or whatever the fuck you want to call yourself, you say one more thing. One more thing on anything I love. I'm going to get up out this motherfucking moderating chair. I'm going to walk up on that stage. I'm going to smack the Cheeto off of you. Now shut the fuck up. Let everybody else talk. All right, Biden, go ahead. You going to tell me that wouldn't be the most watched more than, okay, it equaled the Super Bowl. Number one, it equaled, the, the ratings oh, equal oh. watching a Super Bowl. See, now listen, pretty rude 99. She's like, because Pedro would buy Trump's shoes afterwards. See, I know what you're doing with the Jordan reference. But I explained the whole thing, and you know what? No, Pretty, Pedro, I, I, no, no, you no, didn't. You know what? No, I, you didn't. I, I, I absolutely. I'm sorry. I appreciate you naming yourself aptly because that was pretty rude, ninety nine, and that's probably how old you are. Um, so I'm gonna give you that. I I'm just it. saying you didn't but explain that, yourself, well, Pedro. Jordan, that my one pair of Jordans is better than all your shit. My them shits is cold. Okay, but the people have spoken, Pedro. 
Why did you buy the Jordans? I told. I All right, we're here. I we're here with Black Pedro. I explained. Apparently, Pedro is selling. Pull them out again. I'll pull them out again, and I'll put them on the table. One day, I'll just do the shoes as those pair of shoes. I'll do the show as the pair of shoes. Like that's all. I'll just put them on the screen all day, and then you'll just hear my voice. So don't, don't test me. Test me not, lest ye be tested uh, upon. Okay. You want to test me? Test me now. Let me tell you something. Piston blue up front. Laker. Uh, okay. No, no. Too gold. late. Too late. Too late. They're just not Mix gonna let you collab on the on the tongue. But but you know Bulls what? In the back. If you if you if you look at it, I mean, aside from that night, thank you, Nikki. Because aside I from his Jordan, grown man. Aside grown from man. his Jordans. Um, uh, as I say, right Jordan, which my, I, you know what? Uh, I, I tell you right now, I agree with you. I agree I with you. you What's with I you? I gave you all that though. I, 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 I said, you. I said, full disclosure, okay? Because that's how real I am as an Eastside Detroit nigga. I'm gonna give you my full disclosure and say this might sound like some bullshit, but here's why, okay? And then wait a minute, explain. okay? But but and RVA Gourmet explain. said something. I explain. What RV, look, look at RVA Gourmet said. Okay, first of all, I've worked on my pigeon toe, and it's not quite. And Jordan was pigeon toe too. Really, he don't want to see me as well. The whole. Okay, thing. I'm just but, saying, if Jordan and Pedro played, I think that Jordan would have personal. problems. See, RVA going, she gonna throw out some personal shit that nobody that's really okay. even knew. But that's all right. It's not like I walk around this motherfucker pigeon toe now. Like people, even a couple of years ago, my sister was like, "You're not pigeon toed anymore." I was like, "Yeah, nigga." Welcome to the game. You got to retrain your body. All right. Well, but but end of the day, okay. End of the day, everybody out there. I'm pigeon uh, need. We already know. We need. we already know. Uh, and Chris Wallace probably was sitting there with Jordans on, but um, he, just, he, he just stood up. He got the suit on <laughs> and he got some black and white Jordans. That'd so, be gangster. But I, I'm I, I'm thinking that Chris Wallace. He called him out, but I'm gonna tell you right now, Pedro. He's still getting the business from the far right. They're threatening him. He got threats from them. Well, why, he got well, threats from far, uh, why do you think uh, uh, do you... right right uh, right wing nationalists yeah. have actually come at him and for him calling out Trump as the person, the whole reason, the entire reason that the it's not wasn't even Biden a little bit to me. Truthfully, Biden was responding in kind to the bullshit, but and he still didn't respond hard enough. He, I'm telling you, he should took his shoe off and smacked him in the head with it. Ain't nothing worse than getting smacked with an old white man's shoe in the head. That's what I'm saying. It should have happened. But yeah. um, if you look at internationally, internationally, they still they internationally they said Chris Wallace didn't control the situation. Right. Man. No, no. And I my mean, thing is, what do you want him to do? Tackle him? Yeah, I'm. I'm calling it an uncontrollable situation. <clears throat> you know, like that. That that was Trump's whole goal was to be uncontrollable and out of control like just to just to throw a wrench in the whole thing and and fuck it all up and that's what his people love to see is him turn the system upside down um not realizing that you know he's just out for himself or whatever they they, they don't give a fuck but um so it to me it's an uncontrollable situation you you can't put that on right but, but well biden on, but like biden biden soft pedaled it because i have seen biden in debates and i have seen him in other situations where he could have spoke up stronger which he didn't um i mean which i mean might be because of his age it might be because he was trying to do be the you know the centrist and he did say some goofy shit while i'm the democratic party no you ain't motherfucker you are not the Democratic Party. So, I mean, from that standpoint, I was a little, you know, perturbed. Yeah. But I think I think Chris Wallace, um, he did his thing, you know, um, as best he could. But I still think there was times where he placated him. And when I saw some of the psychologists that were talking about body language and how they analyzed the whole, you know, the whole debate. And they said Chris Wallace, some of his verbiage was very much so sucky up, suck up. To the president, shit. I don't think so. I'm just saying it. It's a, and then I, I I watched some of the clips and went, you know, yeah, he could have said he, something different there. He he segued because you know Trump started to pull up, to, and then he's like, you know, when I say you'll be, when I think he's okay, my interpretation of when Chris Wallace is saying things like, oh well, you'll be happy on the next topic. It doesn't mean I'm trying to please you. It's just that well, since you're bringing this up and you're trying to go there you'll be happy that that's the next topic. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that doesn't mean like, well, I'm happy to please you, sir, with this next topic. It just means like, oh, 
to, to me, this, that was my interpretation of the tone at the time and the way I read it. Right. it was like, it was like, oh, okay, well, since you want to talk about this other shit, okay, that we're not actually talking about right now, you'll be good. You'll be glad to know that it's our next topic. But right, right. now, stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Right. Right. I wonder. And then, you and know then what? they bounce, it then they to the next topic. But like, you know, you you the, Trumpy Dumpy's whole goal was to disrupt. It's been to disrupt America. So he can yeah, make it, as much money off of it. Based, yeah, based, on, it, based it, on Russian objectives, to be honest. Like and that, it's also fed by, it's fed by the, he, his insecurities. He's a narcissist, but he's insecure. And he thinks he's the best. Everything he does is the best. He doesn't want to, he wants to do the next two fucking debates be, because he feels, why would I change up anything? Why would I change up anything? Let's just be the same as I was and be, you know, horrible. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad Pretty Rude 99 that it's not just me that your Pretty Rudeness is uh, <laughs> centered towards. But she's like, I would rather see the old bastards fight in the octagon. <laughs> like, I, well, I, I've already said that. I told I just, you, I want to see them slap box because they're old. I want to see them slap box. But the thing is, um, Trump will not change. The next two debates will be exactly the same. Um, Chris Wallace will not be the moderator. They will have regular people asking questions or semi-regular. They're going to be cast. Yeah. But I'm telling you right now, it, it, it's not going to matter. All of this the debates back and forth, the motherfuckers that have decided to vote for Trump ain't going to change their mind no matter how horrible it is. They don't give a fuck, and they're going to keep threatening Chris Wallace. I'm telling you right now, I saw the shit. Chris Wallace is going to have to get extra security because well, there's the right wing that felt like how they're going to want to fuck him up. So that's what I'm saying. either that so, or you're going to have to get in the gym. So here's so you can't say, so, so to me, it can't be that Chris Wallace placated him, placated towards Trumpy Dumpty. Oh, no, not and, completely. No. And, and is is a target of the right wing, because if he placated towards the president, the right wing would be applauding him. Right. So. I, I like the way Siva 313, what up, though, put this. Uh, he was trying to respect the office, not the man. And and that, that that's a, a great way of putting that, I believe, is, is, is when you say Mr. President, that, that's something that whether whether they wanted to or not, certain people had to call uh, Barack Obama even, right? So, like, right. It, it is, there it's, is a respect yeah. no, for the I office understand. that in certain circles you have to show no matter what. Um, and hey, uh, the Savage AF list, uh, Savage AF listeners and watchers, I told y'all I need we need 16 more subscribers on the podcast channel on YouTube. Go to YouTube and make sure you put in Savage AF podcast. You'll see it. Subscribe. It's free. Don't give me that shit. YouTube. Let's get on it. Uh, and and speaking of time. speaking of respecting the office and not the man, uh, what we have is over is 1600. Uh, former Justice Department employees who have uh, signed a letter that, among other things, says, and I quote, and this is a uh, from USA Today I'm reading, uh, we fear that Attorney General Barr intends to use the DOJ's vast law enforcement powers to, un to undermine our most fundamental democratic value, free and fair elections. Oh, um, he, yeah, he's been doing that. So this isn't a whistleblower, or this is a community of former employees from this 1,600, 1,600 yeah. people who used to work for this the Justice is, Department. <laughs> this is if the NBA, if the NBA decided, like, to all at once say something. You know, that's how many motherfuckers. 1,600 of them said, look, this, he's horrible. He's definitely going to try to cheat for the president because he's basically the president's personal, uh, you know, attorney. He's not even, you know, he's not top cop for us. He's top cop for the white supremacists because Trump is a white supremacist. So he is down with the white supremacists. Or, you know what I'm saying? And so I just the thing that made me mad, Pedro, was the fact that that and I go back. To, I keep going back to all the Caucasians, not not you say some some Caucasians. How come everybody shouldn't be, we should overthrow it. Like Egypt, what Egypt did, like everybody get on Facebook, got together, said we're going to meet, go to the White House. You can't do this shit. Fuck that. Uh, you don't want to pay attention right. to the law. Uh, I'm uh, telling you. Uh, I know uh, you say they don't want that smoke, but I'm telling uh, you, uh, uh, not uh, uh, peacefully, 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 not, wait, 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 not wait, 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 peacefully. 
Shane, I, I, I literally, I want to give you this time to spell out for me what a peaceful overthrow of the White House and the Trump administration looks like. Okay. I, I will, I will, I'll tell you. Please, please take what you do I'm going to sit back. <laughs> I wish I had my Jordan okay. and kick him up on the if, table. If, just like when the Women's March, uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. But the Women's March, but with an agenda that is a little bit more solid because the Women's March was splintered mm -hmm. by the amount of white women that voted for Trump, which was 56%. What we do is you go there with an agenda, you make sure that you have at least 500,000 people show up to the White House mm -hmm. and just fucking show okay. your presence that this is not acceptable without, without violence. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, of course, the cops will do something violent because they're fucking dirty ass militia led cops, but the world seeing that might actually tip the scale. Mm -hmm. That is the peaceful way to do it. That is a way to show it. But if you just go, eh, he's doing a bunch of corrupt shit, they ain't got nothing to do with me, then guess what? He is gonna make it, he's gonna definitely turn the election. So and they're gonna take it to the courts. So I, yeah, they did it in Egypt. Man, they over I, they man, overthrew I, woo, they, didn't they? Didn't they? But they, they're, but they didn't, they didn't rush in and grab them and chop their heads off. They okay. just showed up in force. Yeah. So, but they, um, it wasn't, it wasn't like they, and they, and they changed the trajectory of what was going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so uh, uh, the way America works is when you said fifty six percent about something like two minutes ago, I was like, white woman. Shang just got hit in his head with a tear cast can. And now the crowd is dispersing and everybody's running and crying. <laughs> uh, literally, nigga. They will come with a force that I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, dog. Like, they, 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 if, if 500,000 people ran up on the White House right now w with the intention of peacefully overthrowing it, as you say, like removing him, is what you're saying? Right. Not removing, no. Bar. Bar. Oh. Well, he ain't at the White House. Uh, and that, that okay, so where the talking, fuck he's at? Okay, so now you're talking about running up on the top cop who who works yeah. for who works for the president, but no, not running up on him like and hitting him and, and, and throwing shit at him. Just the presence. If you look at the women's march, the women's march did make somewhat of an impact, but it would make more of an impact if there was more people. Gas can to your teeth, <laughs> you're gonna need okay. good dental. All insurance. women, then good dental. Have insurance. it be all women, have all the women. Cause they ain't gonna. I don't think they're gonna shoot a bunch of tear gas as much, and there will be a lot of Caucasians well, that will go there because they're uh, disgusted. And we know, and we, RVA Gourmet, we know. We she's been saying this uh, the, uh, for a long time now. White women elected Trump to preserve white supremacy. I've been saying this, so don't expect them in that fight, right? Like that ain't that ain't what it's gonna be, right? So who who are the people that's gonna stand up there and and run up on peacefully? William below the bar. Like, who are these people? You think you're just going to shoot a bunch? Hey, you know what? White Have people? Be a bunch of children. Just... <laughs> <laughs> no, they, like, they, they... Innocent, clean-faced children. Little what, kids. What color face? What like, 500,000 little what kids. What color face? I was singing. No, no. Right. What color face? Wait, they're not going. They're not going to shoot a whole bunch of tickets, and they're outside going, ah, Rudo Ray, no, ah, no. Rudo Ray. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. What, Come what on. color kids? What color kids? Just a a, a, a bunch of a, nope. a mix of all kids. No, nope, no. Nope. A bunch of mix of all kids. Nope, because we ain't gonna get all kids. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not done yet. One more thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Five hundred thousand. Kids holding puppies and kittens. Yeah. What do you think? Not everybody's a cat person. So <laughs> some, ah, of, them, some okay. of them motherfuckers All gotta right. go. You know what? Puppies. Little cute fuzzy puppies. And the kids are holding them over their head and walking towards the White House. 500,000 of them. And they're all singing, Arudore, Arudore. And the ones, I'm the, telling you. The ones, hey, the ones, right. ho okay, see? The, hold on. Why the one, punch holes in my theory? The ones holding pit bull puppies? 
Watch out. They're gone. Yeah, no, yeah, they'll, they'll get shot. That's, they'll get, definitely get tear gas. But the other kids, gotta, right, children of the corn. You got like, like, a bunch of kids. Or like, a Itsy Shih Tzu or a Shiba Nibu Ubu Dabu, an Abu Dhabi dog or whatever. Like, you mix something, a poodle doggy do, that you're fine. Come on. But the second you hold All that... Right. I, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen. Puppies, kittens, little kids, clean face, and they're all dressed in nice little Sunday outfits. And they're gonna go up there while we play gospel music. Somehow, kitten stew has come up in the uh, in the feed here. So I don't I know what the fuck this happened. This shit is going crazy, man. But the, I, the I, I thought I made a good point with the little kids singing. No, and I get it. Singing. I mean, well, you would think, and the kittens. You would think and puppies. That, in a, in a normal society, you could check a justice department with babies and kittens, but um, the babies. reality is... Babies, that's even better. The Little reality babies is, crawling yeah. no, with the kittens on their is, back. With, these, with, with this justice department, um, that ain't that ain't that nigga. They will roll over all them kids. They will horse trample, damn it. tear right. gas, baton beat all them faces <laughs> up. So, okay. All right. I, I wouldn't All right. send so, my babies out there. All right. This is my last. This is my last attempt. That I think. Okay. All right. All right. Puppies. Shot. Go ahead. Kittens uh -huh. riding on the back of babies crawling. <laughs> to, wait, wait. Towards to the White House, <laughs> and they have little signs on their back going in Peach Bar. Listen. Come on, man. Listen. Just the visual alone. We'll make the world go. Maybe we should get rid of this motherfucker. I'm so just if, saying. If, it, if any of that, us, just let that marinate. Everybody, let that marinate, and then get back to me. No matter how cute they are, if any of those puppies are Chihuahuas, they're gonna kill them for being Mexican. Okay, that's true. Okay, uh, so they're they, they gonna, so they, they gonna claim that their Chihuahua was attacking them babies, uh, and that they needed to, you know, uh, free them. Okay, that makes so sense. The, so the, the puppies and that the kittens sense. may be gone. Uh, if they Siamese cats, you know the Siamese. Cats, that's right. Yeah, they're that's, evil. Yeah, ooh, no, yeah, that would that's, that's work. China, which not is not even China, but that's China. You know what? So, I made a mistake. Know, Maybe not babies and kids because they already put kids in cages, so they don't give a fuck about kids. Yeah, that's um, they just gonna open up cages and lead them all towards it and keep the kids with a puppy and a kitten per cage. Now they all fight okay. over them little brown pellets. And, yeah, that's that's good. And that's not even okay. Because the baby. One more idea. There. One more idea. Um, it's uh, okay, and this is just directed toward the men. A bunch of uh, five hundred thousand beautiful, sexy models dressed very scantily, mm -hmm. right? And they're walking, chanting, "If Bill Barr leaves, we'll suck all the man men's dick in the White House." And and they all chant that at the same time, you know. Instead of like suck their dicks, suck their dicks. And the models are carrying puppies and kittens. Okay. I got to admit, we're, we're on to something, Shang. I, here, here, I think you may have. Now, I wouldn't expect to see any of these women ever again, as they will be trafficked by this administration as, um, you know, sex slaves around the world. However. Okay, fuck it. Um, <laughs> You know, if 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 they're all like his wife or something like that, then fine. You know what I mean? Like, you know, <sighs> you know, pimp the Melania's out, I guess. Um, but something tells me that they're going to be a bunch of black and brown uh, models, models that we never see yeah. again. So, you know, I gave um, it a shot though, P Pedro. No, 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 come on, know, I did hey, give it a shot. Listen, bro, we got puppies, these kittens, things models, babies, little kids. These are come things on. that you would think that would save you from a justice department like this, but I really don't think. That would happen. So kudos to the 1,600 former employees who spoke out against uh, Bill, Bill Below the Bar. Below uh, the Bar. And his, his behavior as Trumpy Dumpty's personal attorney, basically. Um, that being said, uh, 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 another affront to the law uh, is occurring in, you know, and this is a, a surprise to me. Because I, you know, I wouldn't expect a state like Texas to be doing these sort of voter suppressive, extremely what? racist, what? Um, you know, COVID ignorant tactics. What? You know, I feel like Texas is this liberal minded 
you know, lone star that shines above all the others that teaches us what America should be about. What you trying to say? Proud what you trying to say? Be an American. I mean, what you, yeah. oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, you, uh, what you trying to say, Pedro? What the fuck are you trying to say? Um, <laughs> some bitch. Okay, here's the <laughs> you thing. Gotta choose, you got to choose something. Let's spit it out. Uh, Texas Governor Greg Abbott. Oh, so horrible. It issued a proclamation uh, today limiting the amount of drop-off locations for mail-in ballots to one site per county in Texas, in all of Texas. So, obviously, there are Republican areas, Democratic areas, blah, blah, blah. This, this will affect, ultimately, any district, Both. no matter what. Um, but first, okay, first but of they all, can see I, them. I, I, I earlier today I was like, "Am I about to clown a nigga in a wheelchair for my first time in my life?" But you know what? Shout out to Cat in the Hat who used to run the room at uh, Hollywood Park Casino. Yeah, uh, there was I, I did clown a nigga in a wheelchair one time. <laughs> Sorry, at a show, and uh, but Greg Abbott is also wheelchair bound. And he is someone that I would love um, to dismantle the brakes and just just put him uphill and and why and just wait. You know what, man? As he as he just as he just you know what? Float, coasting, uh, <laughs> grooving. Like, first just, off, I wanna, first I off, I'm gonna say this I'm nigga on. down a fucking. Oh no no no! The big I mean, air. It's obvious. Like X game shit. <laughs> like I want. If he gets air. Down. <laughs> but what else, can he, but what else can he break? But what else can he break? He can't break nothing else. That's, he ain't that's gonna fucked feel up. It. He ain't gonna feel that's much true. Much. It ain't gonna like, oh, I hurt my leg. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Miss Avery, I really. Like, Wee, this nigga like <laughs> TK five. But five, you know what? Five. I think that that what happened in some other places because there was a couple of right wing fuck uh, fuck sticks that tried to do that. They did do some. They did some lawsuits where basically they. Overturn some of the process they're trying to do, not only with the drop off boxes, with the post office too. So they're going to have to do that in Texas because Texas, what they old back were. Now I've done lots of shows in Texas, Addison, Arlington, they're cool, but there's parts of Texas like Colleen, Waco, where these people are fucking each other's <laughs> kids, and I mean like not fucking their own kids. I'm talking about it's just they're horrible. Yeah. So. They're, they're going to have to. They're going to have to do a lawsuit because to do that, and then after that, then take his chair and put it on a hill, and then kick him hey, down bruh, the chair. Kick him. Bruh, I saw. I saw. I've seen a video, and I'm sure y'all seen it too. During these protest times, right now, during this year, recent times, there was a brother in a wheelchair. In a brother in a wheelchair, and the cops pulled his shit, and it was at a protest or whatever, and they threw his shit all out in the street and fucking took him right out of his chair. Uh, all I'm saying is I've n never really felt like this in my life, but my nigga, like, I have, when you, I have many times. Because this is obviously, right? <laughs> this is obviously one of those things where uh, you don't, you, 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 you cannot argue that this is not voter suppression. I mean, oh no, no, it, this it's, is so in line it's, with it's the mail-in voting is bad and blah blah blah. I mean, you have counties with a million people in them, and you're gonna tell a million people. Should they all decide to uh, request mail in ballots? That and they all one have, they one all drop box. box. And obviously, we don't expect it to be all in one moment. A million people trying to do it, but uh, yeah, bro, that's that's definitely like it's gonna have unless, to, unless you just have to... unless you just have a fire line of motherfuckers willing to dump out the basket while people are constantly dumping ballots in. Right, or have a really big drop box. I like guess like, that's the only other. <laughs> It's the size of Texas itself or whatever. Yeah, so I, yeah. obviously it's voter suppression, just like the shit he said about what Trump said at the debate about sending people to watch. And a lot of those people that they sent to watch and some of the people that are voting, they kick their ass out because you're not allowed just to stand around and watch us, you creepy motherfuckers. You have to be, you have to go through a process to be able to watch. So I think that obviously it's voter suppression. I think that the Democrats that are in that state need to take them to court and get a lawsuit. That's obviously try to limit the amount of people to drop box. So I don't see, I'm not worried about it too much because they already overturned like 
bunches of situations like that. But it just shows you how corrupt these motherfuckers are. And you know what? I think the Savage AF listeners are starting to be kind of corrupt because I asked you motherfuckers to subscribe to the podcast, to the, the YouTube channel, and I'm looking at it, and it's the same number I saw in the beginning. I need some of you we're motherfuckers gonna, gonna get, to subscribe get right now get to the get. YouTube channel, Savage AF Podcast. Don't, don't make me come in here. I, don't go stab me. I'll turn this fuck around and we'll all go home. <laughs> Don't go stabby on them yet, dog. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, man. I'll... You Stay. already shot down my idea with the kittens and the models and the I mean, puppies. I, I was, I'm, very, I'm, very, I'm very sad right now. Devil's advocate. Devil's advocate. And yeah, Prime Minister. I know, man, but puppies? Puppies is cute. Prime Minister Taste, we, we appreciate you uh, enduring the dirty looks that you're getting uh, <laughs> while you're, while you're uh, in, in line listening to us live. We appreciate that. Um, so, uh, yeah, man, uh, th this is the first time I felt like this about a, a person in a wheelchair, um, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, you, you, okay. you, you tend to give them the benefit of the doubt, like, okay, all the things I'm going through, you know, thank you. Glad it's not that. <laughs> um, uh, it's pretty rude. It's pretty rude 99 is, is on one. It's yeah, like, but I'm, we I'm already like, subscribed, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. Here's some puppies and kittens. We don't give a fuck about your puppies or your kittens. <laughs> I know Pedro don't. Yeah, <laughs> you got evil in your heart, Pedro. Well, you said this, a whole bunch of puppies and kittens going to get tear gassed. Over this I do because, well, I mean, first of all, I'm, that's just based on the history that I've seen over the past uh, few months. But... Uh, the reality is <laughs> that's true. That, <laughs> they did that, that in the in Washington. Yeah, you're right. They 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 take ass moms, grandmoms. They but, give a fuck. You know, but but I'm wondering what kind of precedent this sets in Texas um, for for other suppressive moves from you know. Obviously, this is a Republican governor. I'm sorry. Did I even give his name, Greg Abbott, earlier? Yeah, uh, Greg, Greg, Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott, uh, Republican governor of the state of Texas, who has reduced. Uh, the number of mail-in uh, ballot drop boxes to one per county throughout all the state. Uh, right. You know, what kind of precedent does this set for, you know, his fellow, you know, dickhead, Nazi, suppressive, ass cake, ho donkey, dolphin <laughs> fin, whale shit, possum brain, well, raccoon minded, um... you know, gophers. Like, why, you know, what's to stop them from, you know, installing this in their states as well, right? Those who are well, on no, this line. It, it's already, it, it, no, it's already happening. It's already happening in a few states, and they got overturned. That's why I feel confident it's going to get overturned. But, I mean, we already know how heinous they are. They'll do anything and everything to win this fucking election. They'll cheat, lie, steal, um, threaten. You notice that they're threatened. They'll give marching orders for fucking white supremacists. Mm -hmm. I mean, we already know they are the sort of the dirtiest dirtbag motherfuckers. None of them have a spine because none of the GOP is standing up to Trump. They're saying he had a good fucking. They said he won the fucking debate. So we know they're a bunch of sad sack little bitches. What? And what we need to do is get fifteen thousand puppies and kittens, and I mean, yep. and just throw right. them at them. All right. So Pretty Rude 99 said, my son just heard all of that. So what we will say here on Savage AF is that we're for the kids. We just might not be for their ears. You know what I mean? We fighting for them, but that don't mean they need to hear us right now. Unless they ready. You know what I mean? Because we, we got, you got to train them young. Uh, JD Line, Pat, welcome back. We love you. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, thank you guys for going, coming on. So, you know, this is this is why we fight for it. and this is this is one of the things that I throw up at at uh those people who don't who don't believe in voting is that and, and, and I'm gonna talk about this more as, you know when we close the show, but is, is is you know, this is obvious work to suppress votes. So Right. Completely. You know, if if it, if it's not that important, is if voting is not that important, then why are they working so hard to 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 suppress your vote to stop you from doing it? So, I, well, I just think that, that's say a, that to black people. You know, and that's for all people, but definitely the black people because I know a lot of people. B. Pryor, what up, though? Uh, 
But you know, he said, he said when they, when we start caring about kids' ears. <laughs> hey man, since day one, bro, day one, we've been about kids' ears from day one. We've told you don't put them around us because we fucked up. Yeah, the show's called Savage as Fuck. I think that we could um, come to the conclusion that's not for the children. By the Even way, though it is for the kids. Tonight's one of the nights I started drinking before the show. So, sorry, y'all. This it was a, this prior, just it was show. prior drinking. Sometimes right. it's for show. But, but, uh, and I did take an edible. I took it an hour and a half ago, so I'm fine. There you go. Hide your kids, y'all. That's, that's, that'll be another one of our uh, co-opted slogans there.